people who live a long time, what's different about their gut microbiome? And there's four bacteria that send me. Odorobacter, Ocillobacter, Christinella, Acromancia. That some of them, like the Odorobacter, improves your immune system against E. coli, against other bacteria that might take you out. The Ocillobacter helps improve your lipid, your blood lipid profile, makes your body more insulin sensitive. Um, other bacteria um, improve cardiovascular health. And of course, Acromancia, we know does a whole host of things for lowering inflammation, improving metabolic health, helping you to fight off cancer, get actually plays a role probably in brain health and cognition, protecting cognition. If you're interested in these, in grooming, cultivating, raising these bacteria in your body, what are the foods you can eat, right? We've talked about this before. Pomegranates, dried cranberries, conquered grape, uh, the juice or the whole thing. There's some more players, chili peppers, can actually do it as well. Black raspberries can do it. Um, if you've ever been to dim sum, the vinegar that they serve in those restaurants, along with those soup dumplings, that vinegar grows acromancia. Um, other foods, that, by the way, that actually answer, resistant starches, potato, you're gonna roast a potato, all right? Um, if you roast it healthily, um, you don't eat it all, stick your leftovers in the fridge, guess what? That temperature change changes the chemistry of the starch the next day when you have it, even if you heat it up again, resistant starch. That grows some of these healthy, these four players. You know, uh, these are like the four horsemen of longevity.